Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Carlos. Now around three or four years ago, I made a video showing you guys my desk tour back in Washington. I wasn't quite too happy with the way my setup was, so I kind of changed it around when I came to California. So I got a brand new PC, brand new monitor, a completely new whole setup. So you know what? Let's roll that B-roll. Now starting off with the most important piece of this setup and that is the desk. Now this is the Apex desk. Now one of the reasons why I like this desk is because it has a very elegant and modern design to it. It is very minimalistic. The tabletop is pretty large so it's able to hold a bunch of different items. Sometimes I like to use it for my cameras. I like putting all the lenses under the cameras just because it makes it so much easier for me to graph instead of getting back to the closet. And another thing that I do like about this desk is that it is motorized. In case you don't know what motorized means, it pretty much means that this is a sit and stand desk. So many of you guys know, I do a lot of video editing, so I'm always doing a lot of video work and I'm always sitting down for long periods of hours. So sometimes when I do get tired, I'm just simply able to raise up this desk to the standing position and just continue working on my project so I can complete them. Now there's also two pre-cut holes already on the desk. Now I use one of the holes to put some outlets on there. That way I was able to take my PC and put it on my desk just so I wouldn't have some big cable mess at the bottom of the floor and it just looks a lot more clean. Remember, I was trying to go for that minimalistic look and I think I achieved that. Now moving on to the other items on my desk, these are the Audio-Technica M50X headphones. Now the reason why I like using these headphones is because they produce a very neutral sound. So when I'm trying to monitor my audio to make sure that it wasn't peaking or make sure that there wasn't any other background noise, this is gonna be the perfect solution for that and they're also rocking some pair of Black Dragon D-Brand skins. And they are sitting on top of a black headphone stand. So this is made by Wu Audio. Now I like this headphone stand because it's very heavy duty. It is built like a tank. And there's also a knob on the back where you can easily adjust the height of the headphone stand. And you can put different kinds of headphones on here, whether they're big or small, it's gonna work perfect for that. Now this next product is the complete opposite of the color scheme that I was going for. It has a red brush aluminum to it. So it looks amazing. I love the color of this and the reason I use this is because this is a Focusrite TI2. Now for those guys who don't know what this is, this is a preamp. So this is where I plug in my microphone to record all of the audio of my videos that I shoot directly onto my computer. So this is powered by USB. So I'm just able to grab the audio file through Adobe Edition and just makes my life a lot more easier to record my audio. And it looks really sexy being here on my desk. And I can also plug in my headphones through this preamp. Now the next item on my desk is the Logitech MX Master 2. Now the reason I'm using it is because there's a lot of different shortcuts that are available to using this mouse, especially for video editing. And I love using the scroll wheel because I can just scroll up through my timeline. So this mouse really helps me out a lot and it's sitting on the Steel Series 4HD mouse pad. And I did a lot of research when I was looking for a mouse pad because I didn't want another generic mouse pad. And I found out that the Steel Series 4HD mouse pad actually works really great with Logitech sensors. This mouse pad has been with me for the past past five years now. Now this next item is probably one of my favorites that I picked up. This is the DOS badass keyboard or the ultimate keyboard. I can't remember they quite changed the name from it. But the reason I like this keyboard is because I wanted to take that minimalistic approach and it has no keys at all. It is a blank keyboard. So you pretty much have to be a badass or you pretty much have to know your whole keyboard in order to use my computer or else you're gonna have a really hard time trying to find out the keys. And I also love the fact that it has this little volume knob that lets me adjust the volume. So I also do lay down my phone on here with me when I'm using my desk. And yes, this is my iPhone 7 Plus, it's my daily driver. And this is rocking a D-brand skin as well, just like my Audio-Technica headphones. Links are gonna be down below in the description if you guys wanna pick up some D-brand skins for your devices as well. And there's also this Nomad battery cable that I use to charge my iPhone 7 Plus when it's with me and I love the fact that it has a built-in battery bank right into the cable so when I want to take it off the charger or take it off my computer and plug in my phone I can still keep on charging it because that little small battery bank is going to keep charging my phone. Now I think this next item is probably the most important out of my whole entire setup and that is my monitor. This is the LG Ultra Wide Curve 
monitor. So this is a 34 inch monitor. So yeah, it's kind of big. That's what she said. And I just like the fact that it just makes me a lot more productive. The reason for that is because I use Adobe Premiere Pro. So you guys know I'm a video editor. So I'm always editing a lot of video and just having that extra screen real estate to be able to stretch out my timeline and make a lot of different cuts and changes. It just gives me a lot more room to do a lot more things to it. And the, also the colors are very accurate and it just makes my life a lot more easier, especially when I'm trying to get creative work done. And I believe that it Every creative individual should have an LG ultra wide monitor. Now the start of this video is my PC. Now the PC pretty much is what gets everything done. It is what renders my video. It is where I get my work done. This PC was built by Puget System. Now Puget System specializes in Adobe Premiere Pro computers. They know what hardware is going to work the best when it comes to Adobe Premiere Pro and it just allows me to work a lot more quicker and faster. Remember guys, if you're trying to get creative work done, a slow PC is not going to cut it and you're going to be wasting a lot of time. Now, of course, you guys are going to want to know what kind of cable management I did. So this is a cable sleeve that holds all the cables together. I use Velcro to wrap all the cables around. And there's also this cable box at the very bottom that just hides everything and makes everything just look so nice and clean. So that's it, guys. That is my desk. It's a very minimalistic murdered out look. And of course, this is my white girl drink because, you know, I have to have Starbucks. I'm a caffeine addict. And if you guys are asking what kind of lamp that is, that is the IKEA Hector. Everybody and their mom has that lamp. Again, all the links are gonna be down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and make sure you guys check out all the products that I mentioned if you guys wanna pick one up for yourself. Anyways guys, that's pretty much does for this video. Make sure to follow me all over social media at Mobile Carlos. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Now I have to get back to work.